Hey guys, it's Ross Scott, and on Space Cut Set, I'm going to share with you the bonus content from the art of the Clone Wars. So here we are, here is the first one. That's Asajj Ventress fighting Ahsoka Tano and Master Luminara. That's a fantastic image. Love Asajj Ventress, she's awesome. She is just evil. Although it's great to see how her um, relationship with Dooku evolves once he casts her aside. Next, we have this. Uh, this is a concept for the Royal Palace on Alderaan. So that will be the Tanti 4 coming in. Beautiful concept. This is very similar to what I remember it looking like at the end of Revenge of the Sith. And I know that they did use a lot of the concepts for Alderaan for Lothal in Star Wars Rebels. So we do see that style of architecture and the landscapes that they have in that show. But yes, that's a beautiful image. Next, we have concepts for clone troopers prowling a canyon on Geonosis. That's beautiful colouring. Yes, that's very nice. Very happy with this purchase, guys. I can't tell you how over the moon I am. Now, here we have a concept for a clone pilot. You can see that the Rebel Alliance and later the Resistance flight uniforms for their pilots clearly has evolved from this. Whereas the Empire's pilots, they went, uh, it was an all black outfit, as of course is the First Order. But yes, that's a very, very nice image. Now, here we have a concept for the Senate Dome on Coruscant. Very different to what we're familiar with, of course, the one that's more of the mushroom shape, I guess. But very nice image. I love this. Coruscant, fascinating city, of course. Very Art Deco, Buck Rogers inspired. Um, if you look at the style of architecture closely, it's very much like that. Yeah, Because obviously that was what George Lucas wanted to make, was Buck Rogers. And he couldn't get the right, so he made Star Wars instead. <laughs> now... This is a concept for a mining station on Mustafar, which uh, obviously made another appearance in the movies in Rogue One, as well, of course, as being in Revenge of the Sith, and has also appeared in the Clone Wars TV show, obviously that's why it's a concept here, but also in Star Wars Rebels, and I have no doubt will turn up again sooner or later. Whether it's in the future or the past, we don't know. Now here we have a concept for a docking station on Coruscant, you know, one of those uh, airborne ones that they have. Like when you see the Chancellor meeting Padme Amidala, that sort of thing. Yeah, it's very nice. Like I said, love the style of architecture of Coruscant. There we go. And finally, we have another one of Asajj Ventress, her final colour designs here. Uh, with her fighting outfit and her um, dummy outfit, shall we say. Uh, but yes, she is brilliant. I love the interplay between her and Kenobi. Oh, my sweet, oh, my dear Kenobi. All of that sort of thing. I absolutely love the joshing between them. I know there is a novel, uh, is it Dark Disciple, I think, um, that is teaming her up with uh, Quinlan Voss. Um, dark side, light side combination, because she is at that point an ex-Sith, but still, I guess, a dark side user. I haven't read that yet. I'll have to pick it up in due course. But yes, that is just the bonus content that came with the art of the Clone Wars and they're absolutely beautiful images. Very high quality. That's why there was so much glare because of how glossy they were. But yes, all very, very nice. Worthy of being framed, in fact. So, we shall soon have our in-depth look at the art of the Clone Wars, and I'm very much looking forward to bringing that to you in due course. Please subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this content, leave me a comment suggestion for a coming topic you'd like to see discussed, or like the video.